decision of President Muhammadu Buhari to investigate the suspended, sec suspended secretary to the government of the Federation, Mr. Babache Lawa, and the NIA DG, Mr. Ayoke. He says the Professor Shimbajo led committee and whether or not the two suspended men should be up for immediate prosecution. And that's our focus tonight on the program. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today Live on Channel Television. I'm Shane Walking Baloye in Lagos. Be before we begin our conversation tonight, let's tell you that uh, President Buhari was at a Juma prayer today. The president today was seen in public as he went to observe the Friday Muslim prayers within the presidential villa. He was joined by some heads of agencies, the National Security Advisor, Baba Babagana Mungunun, the EFCC boss, Mr. Ibrahim Magu, and he's uh, seen chatting with the Director General of the Department of Security Services, Mr. Lawandora. There was no Federal Executive Council meeting, which traditionally holds on Wednesday, as the President missed that of last week, the first since he returned from a 50-day medical vacation in London. Last week, Friday, the Governor of Kaduna State, Mr. Nasir Air Rufai, had advised that people should reduce their visits to the villa to allow the President some rest. And now let's focus on our business of today. It's two days now since uh, President Muhammadu Buhari wielded uh, the big stick, leading to the suspension of the secretary to the government of the federation, Mr. Babachi Lawa, and the ch uh, chief spy officer of the nation, the director general of the National Intelligence Agency, the NIA, Mr. Ayoke. The president wants a probe into allegations on the contracts come in the situation in the northeast and the uh, NIA Director General is also to vacate his office pending the outcome of a full-scale investigation into the discovery of large amounts of foreign and local currencies by the EFCC in a residential apartment at Osborne Towers, Ikoyi, Lagos. Both investigations are to be conducted by a committee comprising the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, the National Security Advisor, and uh, will be headed by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. The committee has up to 14 days to submit its report to the President. The committee uh, will submit the report afterwards. Joining me to give perspectives uh, to this issue is the former national chairman of the Young Democratic Party and the DG Nigeria First Project, Mr. Ezekiel Inya Etok, in our Lagos studio and in our Abuja studio. Uh, to give some legal perspective to the matter is an Abuja based Nigerian lawyer, Mr. Daniel Buala. Many thanks, gentlemen, for coming on the program. We do want to know your own views on this matter, and we sent a poll out there for you to give your thoughts on whether or not there is a need for an investigation first before a prosecution. Uh, some of you have shared your views. Uh, look at what we are asking you on Twitter. If you take some time out to go to Twitter and participate in this poll, our question is very straightforward. That uh, hashtag SGF suspension. Should President Buhari have ordered the arrest and prosecution of SGF Babachilawa and the NIADG? Okay. Hashtag grass cutting scandal. The options are yes, no, VP committee, okay, and the other one is um, there is a, a, a cover up agenda. We do want you to tell us what your views are on this matter. Let's get my guest talking on this one and uh, we get some of your views on the program. Let's we begin with you. Um, as a yeah. former chairman of a, a political party, and now you're into the project of fixing Nigeria and rethinking our strategies as a nation. Do tell me what your take. A lot of people had their views about uh, the anti-corruption war. Yeah. But when you heard that the president uh, has suspended his own SGF, you know just how powerful that office is. <laughs> what do you make of that, first and foremost? Uh, I, first, I want to thank Mr. President for being courageous enough to take that bold step. Um, many have said it's come too little too late. But uh, there's also a saying that says, better late than never. Uh, at a stage, so many people that um, had confidence in Mr. President 
we're starting to believe that um, Senator Sheh Hussani's um, allegation was starting to hold waters in the sense that when it has to do with others, you use insecticide to kill the the, 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 the victim, and when it has to do with you, you use deodorant, which kind of makes the victim even feel better. And um, we started to see things that tended to give credence to that. For instance, if you look at the issue of um, the um, SGF, for instance, uh, where the Senate had come up shouting itself hoarse. And um, the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, of any country, is, is, is a revered institution, just like the judiciary. It, it's, it, it's a body of people that are supposed to be like the elders, as different from even the National Assembly, as important as it is. So when the Senate speaks, it's either that Senate has lost its, its um, respect, or it's being disrespected. None is good enough. And when the Senate had said there's something fundamentally wrong, an indictment, and, and so an indictment that came from very different. In, in, in other crimes, what do you think would have seen in the, the first very place? first thing that would have happened is the man would have stepped aside. Don't forget, uh, Mr. As, as a Eto, person. Don't forget also yes. that there was an investigation which yes. the president said he wants yes. to have into yes. this matter. Yes. First was yes. that at the end of the day there was a report yes. uh, giving himself uh, the SGF yes. a clean bill of health we, and that of the EFCC chairman that there are no confirmation. We, we, of, we, we need people that will be advisors, backdoor advisors to the presidency. For instance, look, it's a matter of you and I here sitting here and saying, look, there's this allegation. So what do you do? Tomorrow, you say, gentlemen, on account of what has um, come up, I'm stepping aside that there may be investigation. Your boss does investigation, and a week after, he calls you back and said, you are free. There's nothing wrong which was eventually what was sent to the Senate. At that time, he would have come back to his office. You have already had an understanding with your the, boss. The, the president Just, now, the yes. president now yes. is suspending the yes. SGF based no, no, on the it, same it, allegation. No, it, but it's, but, it's but, but one, little... one, the question is, what has happened yes. between when the president said That's the I'm man saying. is okay and yes. now that he's suspending It's a little him. dirty. It's a little dirty. The, the thinking process. You see, don't, don't react to things as, as they come. Look at the big picture. Always, as an architect, you look at the master plan, then you walk into the details. But, but does you, it look like the president was ill-advised Yeah, at he first? was ill-advised. He was ill-managed.